AI to give you artillery support. We're going to go to this location and we're going to build a little mission. We're going to place a player and this is going to be an unarmed rifleman. We're just going to place him there for now. And next we're going to go to props and in the search box we're going to type in solar. And then we're going to go down to utilities and choose a solar tower. Place it right about there. And that's perfect. That lines up with what I want to do. Next, we're going to go to the player and take the player and put him on the tower. And that's all we need to do for him. Next, we're going to go to this location and we're going to go to artillery and we're going to put down an M4 Scorcher and I'm going to face it this way I'm going to edit him and remove his fuel this way he doesn't drive off then we're going to go to the M5 Sandstorm place him and do the same thing and then we're going to go down to Terrence and choose a M6 mortar, put him right about here, face him this direction. What I'm going to show you here is how you can command AI to shoot artillery rounds for you. We're going to connect these three assets to the player and make them commandable under the player. What you're going to do is you're going to hold down your left mouse button and just move your cursor and you'll see a box coming from it and just expand it to where you encompass these three assets. And once you do that, once you get them within your box, then just let go of the mouse, left mouse button and all three of these guys will be highlighted. Once they're highlighted, right click one of them, go to connect at the top, and then go down to where it says group two, click on that and you'll see three lines coming off your mouse cursor. Go to your map, scroll out and go to where your player is and click on the player and the three lines will connect to the player so you should see three lines connecting to the player just like that all right once you have that then let's go over here is we're going to place an unarmed rifleman and we're going to place him right about here and we're going to make him playable and then go to his special states and disable his damage just in case. And that's all we need to do for him. Next, we're going to go back to the player. We're going to just save this scenario. I'm going to put it under Livonia and we're going to type command underscore artillery. And that's our mission. All right, let's play it and I'll show you how this works. You should be seeing three assets in your command line at the bottom of the screen. So you have two, three, and four is the M4 Scorcher, and five and six is the M6 Sandstorm, and then seven is the Mortar. You can command these guys and tell them what to do. Let me show you a demonstration how this works. So what you could do, we'll just press the F4 key that's how you command AI and you're going to get a cur your cursor on the screen All right, so we're just going to aim it over there and as you notice in the action menu there in the command thing you could tell these guys to fire artillery you could fire at a position you could fire artillery now if you fire the artillery you get a menu that comes up if you press enter so you could choose guided mine cluster cluster shells white smoke laser guided ATM cluster whatever you want to do if you press the HE you get a choice of single rounds or burst so let's do that let's choose a single burst and we're gonna watch these guys you should be able to see his gun gonna fire your shot. Let's speed this up just a tiny bit. You could do the
the same for the sandstorm. We'll just press F6. And this one we'll just put fire in position. And then you should see, yeah, you can see his turret road rise up. There, you could actually see the missile. It's pretty badass. And with the mortar, you just press F7 and you get the same options. I'll just fire at position. And he's going to probably fire three rounds. It's like a salvo. Three or four rounds. Left a lot of dust. Another option that you could use the artillery is if you go to your map and you choose a location that you want to hit, you scroll in where you want and you press the asset that you want. So let's choose the scorcher, so we'll press F4, let's use fire artillery, you choose that, choose HE, choose one round, and he will fire there. Can do the same thing for the scene storm. Just press which one you want. That guy's gonna land over there. Pretty cool. Alright, let's go back to the editor. Alright, I'm going to show you a different way to do this that is more efficient. So what you're going to do, go back to your artillery pieces. And there's two ways to do this. You can do this over the map or you could do this like this. So again, draw a box around these three guys. Let go so that they're highlighted. Right click one of them. Go to connect and instead of sync two, go to group two. Choose that to where you get the three lines attached to your cursor again, and then just click. Don't connect them to anything. That'll disconnect them to from the player. All right, so I'm going to show you a more efficient method, and this is going to use the support modules. So if you've never done this, this is actually pretty, uh, pretty cool because it, it'll give you some more options, and it'll free up the uh, commanding part to another system. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to F5 systems and then you're going to go down to where it says supports, click on that, and then you're going to choose the first one at the top, support provider artillery. Choose that, place it on the map, it doesn't matter where you place it, but we're going to just place it right here. Go down to the bottom where it says support requester, choose that, and we're just going to put it right about here. So next, again, draw a box around the three assets. Highlight them, right click one of them, go to connect, sync to, and you're going to connect that to the support provider artillery module. So now this will be connected. Next, click on the support provider artillery module, right click that, 
go to connect sync to and connect that to the support requester and then click on the support requester module right click that connect sync to go to your map and connect that to the player so now you should have three lines going to the module one going to the support requester and one going to the player there's nothing you can do with the support provider artillery I mean you could probably do some codes or whatever but you want to go to the support requester module double click it and in it you're gonna have a different settings so here you can define what you want to work with depending on what you got connected to it so obviously as you can see you have artillery cast bombing cast helicopter supply drive helicopter transport etc UAV so since we only have artillery connected to it this is going to be the line that you're going to be focused on and you could have a different settings here this minus one means you have infinite support so as many as times as you want you can call artillery on whatever target if you change this number to like say 10 that means you have tar 10 artillery support requests limited to that once it runs out that's it you won't get any more so we'll just leave it at that we're not going to call it many anyways just hit okay and that's all you have to do just hit save and let's check it out so next once you're in game what you're going to see is an icon to the left of your screen you won't have the command bar at the bottom and what you do to access this is you just press zero on your keyboard and you go down towards it you go to eight where it says supports click on that it'll say artillery strike you click on that and you'll get three options which are the artillery assets that we have placed now in the square box overall at, at the bottom it says provider 10 left that means you have 10 artillery barrages or fire missions left so let's choose let's actually go over here and let's zoom in a little bit we'll choose the scorcher choose the HE rounds and once you do that you'll have an option of how many rounds that you want to fire so let's choose three and let's go to spectator real quick and you get to watch this guy shoot his guns switch to our playable unit and we'll just hide right here for the moment I want to get on the ground storm we'll just hit zero go to eight choose your put your cursor on target and this will be 230 millimeter rockets and choose three and let's hit escape and go to spectator Now let's 
let's do the mortar. Hit zero. Supports. Choose the mortar. Use the HE mortar shells. Yeah, let's choose three rounds. Let's switch to our guy. Pretty badass. Now just remember, like I showed you before, you could do the same if you're on the map. So if we choose artillery just hit zero it's the same thing go to eight artillery strike and you can do the sandstorm and you'll get the description it'll say 230 millimeter rockets ETA which is estimate time of arrival and it'll give you a number in seconds Shot will be fired. Switch to a guy. Here it comes. Now on my channel, if you go to this video, how to set up support modules, this video is a tutorial. It will go into depth on how to set up and configure the modules for each assets that you can call for support. So you can call artillery, mortar, bombing runs, helicopter attacks, supply drop, heli helicopter transport, so this video overall goes over support requesters, providers in that list for those modules. So if you want a more in-depth detail on how to do that, this video will show you how. You can find that on my channel. I'll link this in the description of the video, but in general, just go, my just go to my channel, go to videos, hit search, and then type in support. And hit enter. And the first thing that comes up will be the video, how to set up the support modules. So you can use that and basically learn more about support modules if you've never used them. For more tutorials, take a look at this playlist.